share with you a quick and brief testimony of how the $10 garment came to be. Uh, when my husband and I originally started planning the wedding, we, we didn't really have the funds that we would have liked to have to make it extra big, extraordinary, you know, just like what we desire when we were little girls, uh, watching TV and the magazine and things like that, but that didn't really bother me. I really just wanted to have something simple, godly, um, fellowship with my family, friends, my loved ones, and uh, that's exactly what we prayed for. So we got on our knees and we said, God, please provide the resources, the funds, the materials, the sales, the ideas to be creative and to really stretch out our means and our funds and, you know, to to help our, uh, allow our family to help our friends to help and get involved and collaborate. And um, truly the Lord answered our prayers. Um, particularly uh, the garment here, this outer layer of fabric here, um, I was able to find at a fabric store downtown Miami, which is now one of my favorites. Um, it's called Rosa's Fabrics. And believe it or not, this one here, this fabric was 99 cents a yard. I kind of had, I kind of envisioned what I, um, what I wanted the outfit to look like. I went different pieces, but all of them to collaborate together in my mind. And um, so this one was 99 cents, and I thank God that they was amazing. Also, the tool underneath was uh, about a dollar and ninety nine cents. Also, and the lining was the same price. Um, the elastic band was around the same price. Also, um, the fabric up here for the for the sash there was um, about the same price. Also, I guess I think I got it at Walmart. Um, and then when it came to my shoes, I ended up going to a store and I found it at two ninety nine. My shoes, and there were Jessica Simpsons. Uh, patent uh, new pumps and they were just $2.99. The Lord led me completely there that same day, the only pair left, my size, $2.99. And um, for the blouse you'll see in the pictures at the end of the, at the, end of the tutorial, uh, I ended up going to a thrift store and finding a beautiful lace top. And the lace top was, uh, the, matched the same color of my skirt here. And all I did was just alter it from the side. It was a little big. I just altered it from, my, from the sides with my sewing machine. And that worked out perfectly. I had a blue burl jacket that I just wanted to mix and match. That went very well, you'll see. Um, and I just embellished it with some embellishments that I found in Michael's for $1.99 or $2. The whole outfit really did come together for $10 or less. I can't remember, but it was $10 when I added it up. And I was just praising the Lord because it was, it was something I didn't, I realized I didn't have to be stressed about or um, dish out a lot of money for. Um, I put it together, the Lord instructed me to how to make it in the most simplest ways possible, um, functional, everything. And, um, from, and the whole wedding testimony is amazing. Hopefully one day I can share the whole thing with you. Um, how my family, my friends, everything came together from the ceremony uh, church building to the reception hall, from the printed menus and the invitations came together, the wrapping, um, the food, the gourmet food, which was vegan and plant-based, uh, vegan cakes, vegan cupcakes, um, the photography, the photographers, everything came together so beautifully. And if I can give you a budget of how much we spent um, and the, to, for the complete wedding, I would say it's less than three thousand dollars. I'm probably pushing it even so, but it's less than three thousand dollars, give or take some. And it was just an amazing experience. God truly provided, and uh, our prayers was answered, and we had a memorable experience. And uh, I just wanted it to be inspirational to others. That I just wanted to inspire others, and hopefully inspire you, that you don't have to go the standard ways to spend thousands and thousands of dollars that you could be using either for God's work or for, you know, to serve mankind and to, or to help others or to even something you might need in the future, you know, planning a family, having a home, having cars and education, whatever it is, this money, this means, this time, resources can be used for other things and that's what my husband and I really looked at and um, we really got the full benefit of, of what it means to be uh, good stewards of God's resources. Um, so I hope you like it and uh, I hope you're inspired and enjoy.
Fabulous. Bye-bye. Yarns the desired outer fabric, matching thread, uh, three matching, three matching yards of lining, and sharp scissors, and of course a sewing machine. Just to shrink it down the waistline and so it's going to be poofier at the bottom once you open it towards the bottom but at the top I wanted to just do the folds and then you're going to do a straight stitch one inch from the top Now with my tool, I'm going to fold over, sorry, with my line, I'm going to fold over one inch and then fold it over again another inch, covering the top of the tool, covering the top raw edge of the tool. So I'm going to pin it all the way across the top now, doing the same thing all the way across the top. Here it is. I pinned it all the way up top and I'm basically making a sandwich with all my with all the three fabrics. It's super easy. You pin it down, then I'm gonna sew sew it at the bottom of this strip here. There you have it. I sewed at the bottom. All the way across the top. Next I'm gonna get the outer fabric and I'm gonna make box pleats. You can measure it to so it can come out um all equal sizes and you can have you know the same size for everything I kind of eyeballed everything and uh, it worked out great for me I just eyeballed it but that's just me and I'm gonna do it all the way across the top and plus doing pleats and box pleats and other pleats gives you the uh, the poofy effect or what I call the bubble effect and it's really nice Now I'm going to connect all three together. I'm going to put the tool and the lining on top. And all I'm going to do with the outer fabric, with the right side facing down, to hide that raw edge, I'm going to fold over about a half an inch to a quarter of an inch down. And I'm going to tuck it in like so, and then put it together and then pin it. And I'm going to sew that shut. So I'm pinning it now. I'm folding, it, I'm folding my outer layer in about a half an inch, tucking in the raw edge into the other's fabrics and I'm pinning it and I will sew that down at the top all the way across the top I'm gonna sew it I'm gonna sew all three pieces together so you see you can see the raw edge of the outer sew all the way down and that that's what you get there closest possible to the edge you sew that all the way down and you take off your pins and you get you get this that's where our where our elastic band will go so now see we're almost there all three of the pieces are together you see the lining is two is longer than the other ones we will end up measuring that and, and making it even but now we have to sew the sides together we have to sew the sides together and we have to put that elastic on 
So I'm gonna go ahead and put the elastic on first. You wanna take your elastic band. I have a knit elastic band. Quite stretchy. And it's very durable. You just measure around your waist or where you will have the dress around your hips or on your waistline, under your breast, wherever it is. And you just kind of make sure you leave some room. It's the most comfortable thing. I love elastic and that's why I will always work with it. So you pin where you where your uh, your measurement is. And, um, taking your, your fabric now with the right side facing up. With the right side facing up, you place your elastic at the start about half an inch down or a quarter. Start sewing, and with your left hand, you hold on to your fabric and the elastic, and with the right hand, you kind of guide with your fingers how far in you're. You're placing that on top of the fat, on top of your garment, and then you pull it. You pull the elastic band, and as you're going, you keep pulling. As you're going, you keep pulling, and it's sewing. And you see, that's the end result. And it was a lot left over. So, so now we're gonna turn it inside out, and we're gonna sew each piece, each piece matching its piece. We're gonna sew it all the way down. We're gonna sew them together. So the tool with the tool, the lining with the lining, and the outer layer with the outer layer all the way down. I just like them to be separate. And if you have a serger, even better. It'll look much more cleaner than mine. I didn't have a serger at the moment, so... But if you have a serger, please, by all means, use your serger. So here I'm doing the tool with the tool again. I'm sewing, I'm sewing, I'm sewing now the garment You see, I measured the lining now with, to measure it with the other layers and um, to get the precise length. Now here I'm doing the belt. This is a measuring how wide I want my belt to be and I just folded the fabric in half and I'll be cutting it. So all the layers I'm cutting now and I'm going to attach all these layers together to make one, to make two solid uh, panels. I got six and I'm going to attach them all down See, I sewed them all together just to make two long ones. These two long ones I'm going to put together, uh, one on top of the other, and I'm going to sew the sides all the way down. I'm going to have a long, long, long belt. Now when I sew both sides, I leave the openings open, and um, I'm going to turn it inside out. You mean the, the garment? You always want to steam, you always want to iron. And that's the result of the belt, and now you just put it together.